So, hello everyone. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, where we're going to be uh, getting back into the story today, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, how you doing? Um, I have uh, just done a bit of... Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey homework, you might say. As you may have seen from my Twitter, uh, just watched the 300 for the first time, which was very, uh, very silly. Um, it was cool. Uh, it's not a, I mean, I wouldn't rate it as one of the best films I've ever seen or anything, but it was fun. Um, it was a little bit over mythicalized, but um, yeah, there's some very odd things in there that really weren't in the real battle at all. Um, but uh, that could just be down to the fact that it's an embellished story being told by one of the characters. Uh, but uh, it was fun. Uh, uh, it was good. There, there a few memorable quotes like the This is Sparta one. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it was just a, a fun film. Um, glad I glad I watched it for cheap on the Blu-ray, basically. <laughs> um, but it was fun. But I think the, the the real history is a bit uh, uh, a bit better. I mean, it had like um, most of the, the important things that happened were in the film, um, like you know the whole um, secret, you know the back route that led to their encirclement at the end and so on. Um, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that the um, there weren't sort of elephants and giant battle rhinos and ogres and god knows what else. Um, <laughs> slightly embellished that. Um, you, sir, are a very blue ship. What are you? Uh, elite Athenian Byreme. Uh -huh. You are a red ship. Mm. I mean, should I get involved there? Nice to have you back, Commander. Do you think I could? Although they're going to get involved now. Uh. Woo! Feel that wind! All right. You guys are getting a bit. More oars! We can't go any faster, Commander! Bows ready! Yeah, we'll get you though. Throw spear! Archers! Ready yourselves! Go! Ram that bugger! Oh wow, we knocked him right out of the water there. That was pretty awesome. Ready. That was just worth it. Uh go on. Let's speed now. Uh, I'm in a crossfire. That's not a good place to be. More speed! Crash. Uh. Archers! Forward. Don't go He's got a lot of hit points. Yeah. Did you speed? The wind took that one. They are not in good shape, Commander. Hopefully, old Spartan dudes. Uh, oh, heck, we're on fire. Uh, not good. Oh, that's really not good. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> well, I was trying to defend my. Uh, my Spartan brethren there, but <laughs> I got a bit outnumbered. Um, so off to a flying start. But anyway, um, uh, yeah. So uh, plan for today um, is going to be. Uh, I think we're going to get back to the plot. Um, might do one other island or something, but. Um, 
really we've got to head down to Thera and uh, find out what's going on there because Cassandra has to find out who her father is her real father which we have no idea about at the moment um, just no clues whatsoever back on uh, the port right um, so yeah we, I think we basically finished up in Mykonos um, we could go over to Seraphos and do some stuff maybe um, first and then uh, head down there uh, to Thera because uh, that's where we got to go um, what's uh, the leadership down here do we know I don't know anything about that so yeah we could go down to to Seraphos first give us uh, something to warm up on ready to depart commander on board so I think we've done uh, with, uh, Increase Mykonos. Get that sail down! We are pulling up to that salvage! Alright, where are we uh, going? We're going down here. Alright. Into less charted waters. <laughs> Holy crap, that was close. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. I wonder if they can actually land on your ship by accident, because that would be just amazing. Alright. Into more civilized waters now. Might want to change your course, merchant ship. Uh, already got it. Do, do, do. Ooh, the waves are getting a bit big. I did like that I hit that elite ship so hard that I actually knocked it out of the water. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, speaking of elite ship, actually, uh, speaking of pirates. Ready, yours! in the fray here or Slow the rowers. Ah. maximum speed oh so they apparently ready to fire I like them they are headed right for us no Beams come in. Uh, come on! Smash! Right, got rid of you. Who are you? Guy is meaty. 
Slow down! Speed up! Ah, we're gonna come in on top of him! <laughs> oh. Oh, he's, uh, he's a chunky one. Here. Getting a little busy. Also, the waves are pretty huge. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, those waves are mountainous. Let's give him chase. Turn the way. Oh, he's still coming this way. <laughs> Seraphos. Yeah, he's turning away. We'll get through the uh, Athenians though. Can skirt around them. <laughs> if I were you, Mr. Merchant, I'd get out of my way. That's a big wave, holy crap! <laughs> and now, <laughs> that actually slowed me down quite a lot. Wow! Right, anywhere I can dock on this island. Yeah, it would be nice if that actually shows you where the, uh, the ports were. Get the oars out! Uh, sorry, coming by. Don't mind me. Increase speed! I think there's a town on the other side here. Over there. Is there anywhere we can park? <laughs> Up you go. Anywhere? a lot of ships out there. Oh, there we go. There's a dock. Some debris in the water. Skirting the beach very closely. Alright, coming in. We just basically went all the way around the island to find somewhere that was a little bit to our left. Right. I got an Athenian guy on my ship, I feel a bit dirty, but... Right. Hello, Seraphos. That was a dog actually having a piss, wasn't it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> they have thought of everything. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, sure. Just 
coming over here. Thank you. It's all good. Trying to find the quest guy there. Thank you. Um, but yeah, let's see what's up here. We get uh, Seraphos. I believe was where Perseus was uh, raised in. Uh, not raised. Uh, he, he was uh, moved there by Zeus in uh, the original Clash of the Titans film, wasn't he? I seem to recall it was Seraphos. Uh, let's see who's down here. Oh, more of that clay stuff. Uh, hello. Excuse me. Uh, hello. What's a little girl doing in a clay pit? Oh, a Mistios. Hi, Mistios. I'm just preparing something for my friends. I've been here all day, but I still need more clay. I need enough for all of them. <laughs> Giving clay to your friends is weird. <laughs> I don't know how you can say there isn't enough. You're surrounded by it. <laughs> what you're doing for your friends is very nice. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Really? You think so? I was thinking of getting them some other things, though. You're a generous friend. What do you want to give them? I want to give them some nice jewelry. <laughs> you mean jewelry? That's what I said. <laughs> you don't look like you could afford any, honestly. I know. That's why I was going to get some shiny stones in the abandoned mines and a few pearls from the lagoon. But I've been stuck here all day with the clay, and the abandoned mines are kind of scary. Do you think you could help me get some gifts for my friends? It'd make them happy, and that would make me happy. I'll make some gooey for you, too, for helping me. Um, sure. Gladly, young lady. I'll see to it you get the best pearls and shiny stones. And I wouldn't mind some jewelry myself. Yay! Thank you. You're really nice for a big, scary-looking person. <laughs> okay. Uh... These pearls you talked about, where can I find them? North of the clay pits, in the lagoon. They're just sitting there in the water, but there are some big sarks in there. Be careful. <laughs> This is a very unlikely quest. <laughs> I want all these things that are uh, in, like, you know, bandit infested mines and shark infested waters and Where stuff. Where are these abandoned mines with your shiny stones? The mine is in the metal, west of the temple. I'll see what I can find. So, yeah, where are these friends? Where are all your friends? They'll be coming soon, just a little longer. Speak up, child. I can't hear you. Never mind. I'll introduce you to them later. They're imaginary, aren't they? <laughs> okay, that's all I need to know. I'll see you later. I should be done here soon. Meet me at the cliff overlooking the lagoon, okay? I'll introduce you to my friends. Thanks, Mythios. Well... That's the thing. Who's my target here? What? Uh... That's the lagoon with the pearls. Ah. Oh. Okay, you can actually track a place as well, apparently. Um, okay. Well, let's, uh, humour the child. I mean, it's not a very big, uh, island anyway. Maybe there's something interesting. This oh. is the lagoon the little girl mentioned. Like an underwater city or something, I don't know. <laughs> Whoop. Sploosh. Okay. Well, I don't know it, I was gonna say. I don't see any oh wait. Oh, there's a big cave. Uh. Ah Got me out of Quite got the art of uh shark slaying down yet. Oh yeah, I did wanna try the um that long uh, weapons again two handers that ah, yeah yeah little bugger uh any more 
Right. Um, yeah, there's a big cave down there. I did want to try the uh, the two-handers um, again. Sorry, there's a thing over here. What's this thing? What is that? Oh, it's like a... Huh. Little, uh, like a raft or something, and a couple of pairs of shoes. <laughs> okay. Um, right, so, uh, yeah, so I did want to try the, uh, the two-handed weapons again. Um, because, you know, the spear's quite handy. Uh, oh, there's some things over there as well. There's something up there as well. I didn't notice that. Uh, right. Let's uh, try that again. enough pearls and the treasure oh polymark helmet spartan one as well nice oh, uh, you as well um head back up Right, um, let's go over here. I should probably go back to that island that had the weird uh, ancient site as well. Hello? Anyone here? No. No. Nobody around. Guess not. Um, I'm starting to doubt my uh, memory of uh, Clash of the Titans here. I know Sarah Foss was involved in there. But like whether he that was where he was put down or whether that was where he was raised, I can't remember. I'm starting to doubt that now. Hmm. Um, but I'm sure what's his face, um, old dude, was telling him that he was in in Seraphos in the amphitheater. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look it up after. It's a good film though. Like, the, the original Clash of Titans was pretty awesome. I haven't watched the new one because it's just one of those pointless remakes. Uh, and why would I want to watch a pointless remake, basically, so... <laughs> um, no, it did get a sequel, which the original didn't. 
Um, right. That's one down then. Uh, so. Um, got that. And then said west of the meadow or something, right? Um, which is probably over here. On the other side of the island. Or west of the temple, wasn't it? In the meadow west of the temple or something she said. Um, so let's go see what else is on this island. or something uh, interesting maybe a mine uh, ah, mines. Ah. that's where the shiny stones are ah. also there's a lookout point up there um, let's go up there and get that ah Athena some uh, goddesses. Can't go wrong with wisdom. Uh, hello everyone. Um, don't mind me. Just clambering on your temple. It's a very really nice temple. But, there we go. Apparently it can't. Climb that sort of thing. Here we go. Uh. All right. Uh, what are we like for spring units around here? Uh, not a very good pose. Well, you are like uh, she is perched on a, a very very. Um, narrow little thing there. Uh, let's see if I can do an orbit. Let's get down there a bit. That's actually a decent shot. Yeah, this one's quite fancy. Log jam of ships out there. Very nice. I do like how they do that. Yeah, you think that. Alright, mines, I presume. Abandoned, you say. There's some treasure in there. Why oh, they're abandoned? The abandoned mines with the shiny stones. Stones for me. Ding ding. Do do do. See the other one. that coil of no that's not a coil of rope that is a snake <laughs> might be a good time 
time to put the light on. something down there. Ah. Let's try that again. See that thing there? Yeah. Thought so. The treasure. Okay. And there are shiny stones. One of them, anyway. over there. I hear rats. Is that oil? What? Ah, snake. you there but uh that uh, got you good definitely hear rats ah. <laughs> and the shiny stones. I should return to the little girl. Ah, you know, to kind of throw it over their heads or something if I want to kill them. Anyone else out here? Let the other exit. Isn't it? 
Um, let's ping somewhere. There's another another way in, a way through as well though. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Who? Living here. Snakes? Uh, is that a way through? No. It is not. There is a cave with stuff in it, though. Over you, Athenians. Why are you? Are you just tired or are you wounded? Just have chronic indigestion or something because you're moaning like anything. <laughs> A bit ridiculous. Yeah, you can uh, go there. Um, yeah, did I get that um, light things on, on firepower? I wonder. I'm a little mystified as to how he suddenly caught fire. I think this place is Spartan, right? Yeah, so I don't really want to... Um, don't really want to be uh, usurping it. She has some real friends or not. But whatever's. Ah! <laughs> Goddamn snake! Right on there, eh? Right for scaring me. Right. Um, where is the girl? Then. Did 
do uh, making friends. She is over there. Then tell me she is back at the uh, lagoon in that forest hut that I just stole all the stuff from. Probably is, isn't she? The little girl and her friends. She got here sooner than I thought she would. <laughs> Hello then. Mistyos! You made it just in time! My friends have finally arrived! I don't see anyone else here but us. <laughs> what? Silly Mistyos, can't you see them? They're right over there! Ah. The one on the left is Theo, and the one on the right <laughs> is Erla. Uh... Sure. They look... friendly. But I don't think they really count as your friends. What do you mean? They're my friends. I made them. I know you made them, but that... Mother told me to make friends, Mistyos, and I did. Oh. This isn't a way to make <laughs> friends. Tell your mother that... I can't! She's dead, Mistyos. <laughs> mother ah. is dead. She joined the pirates. Told me she'll bring back so much drachmi. We could swim in it. But, but, but one day she came back, Mistyos. Her favorite white robe was all red. And she told me to take care of myself and make more friends. Ah. But I've never had any friends. I didn't know what she meant. So I thought really, really hard and made my friends out of clay. Did I make a mistake? Mother won't be upset at me, right? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Mm, no, you did great. <laughs> no, child, no. You did great. Your mother would be proud of you. Friends come in all shapes and sizes. I have an eagle, and he's a close friend of mine. Wow, really? That's so cool. Here you go. Your gifts for your friends, as promised. Why don't you go put them on for them? I'm sure they'll like that. Thank you, Mistyos. You're the best. I'll go do that right now. I'm sorry, child. Yep. <laughs> I could not break your heart, even if it was good for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that was the wiser option there. <laughs> Gwery. Oh, Gwery. I've got some. Whatever that is. What is that? Um, probably down here. Actually, quite nice. Good way we. Yeah, I, I don't think. Why have I got a hoof, cow hoof? <laughs> I don't think that would have been great. Uh, ooh. Um. So, uh, I thought I got some other things as well. I got something over here, isn't I? Uh, no. Um, no. I did get that sweet polymark helmet. Uh, which is a bit more than that. I wonder what I look like in that. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> at the proper spot. Maybe I'll wear that when I go to Sparta. Um, that's just a Corinthian one. Um, maybe it's the Gauntlets of Ares. Yeah, there we go. Gauntlets of Ares is what I got. Uh, although, Persian Warrior Gauntlets. They're not too shabby. Um, studded van braces are not too shabby either. Actually, quite good. Um, uh, let's have a look. Let's 
does that look like? Hmm, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Mercenary gloves, not too bad. That's my gauntlets of Ares. Uh, ooh, there, yeah, they are studded. <laughs> um, not my style though. They're a bit chunky. I mean, they go, they go well the best, really. Um, hmm. Try them on for size. Uh, what have we got here? So, what do I do? Unequip that. That's, uh. Whoa, that's. That is a honking great mess. Wow. <laughs> I should check in on her later. Thud, thud. Um, well. Yeah, I suppose. I mean. Since. It rained. It rained. Oh. My friends disappeared again. Um, no. Hello? Who's a popo tapo grasso and effort? I was gonna say it didn't rain. It was fine. It's gone. It rained. It rained, and my friends disappeared again. <laughs> well, I can't talk to her. It seems. Maybe I have to wait a while. They're gone. It rained. Yeah. It rained, and my friends disappeared. I fear she's doomed. I possibly could have uh, told her the truth and said, hey, go and actually go into town and make friends and stuff, but... I don't know. Maybe the short-term pain would have uh, yeah. given way there. A bit flaily. <laughs> I saved you. Oh. <laughs> um. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's just put me back here and maybe no one will notice. Um. Uh. Uh. Awkward. Um. <laughs> So uh, I need a little bit more uh, control over the old mace there. <laughs> You're just sleeping. Um. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. quest over there. Right, there we go. Right. So, yeah, nobody saw that. 
it. Fine, didn't happen. Killed by pigs, obviously. It's totally what happened there. dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> More. Lynxes. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> Just brutal. Uh. bone in your linksy body. <sighs> ah, right. So, I don't know if maces are quite my thing. Maybe I should get a spear or something. <laughs> Seems a little bit more... them as well but um yeah apparently there's lots of lynxes here and I just killed off the population Saros Puros what's that oh what's going on down there Is going on here. Is the fangirls here or something? <laughs> I'll see you all at the selection ceremony, ladies. <laughs> I especially hope you show up. Let me guess. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in Chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros's blessing <laughs> to be picked. You hope to marry into riches? No! My feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. <laughs> but his wealth doesn't hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Um... Even if your feelings for him are real, they get stronger with Rahmi. No! I really am in love with him. You better start praying like the rest of them. <laughs> no, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Etios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything. Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Eros? Please. His ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I'm a witch of Ekati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. Uh -huh. I love both. <laughs> I knew where that was going. Uh, uh, I tend to go with the uh, with the blunt answer, don't I? It's a bit more in character for me to go with love potions are ridiculous, really, isn't it? Ridiculous. Love potions are a myth. I'll buy it from you, please. Sell it to me. And don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Ekati freely. But a love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. <laughs> Once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. A cask of the finest wine, and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mystios could procure these items for you. Please, Mystios. <laughs> please, you've got to help me. In the name of love, and a lot of Drachmi. <laughs> well, I'll give you all I've got. If Etios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. Uh, 
<laughs> just love the, the off camera. Ugh. Um, oh, sure. <laughs> Get the ingredients for your love potion. The finest wine isn't much to go on. How will I get it? A shipment of expensive wine was lost in a shipwreck recently. Look around the wreckage in Pirate Bay, and you'll find a cask or two. If it hasn't already been pillaged by pirates. It's beached on the west coast of the island. Okay. Where will I find wild mushrooms? No, no. A new shipment of very special mushrooms ah. arrived at the customs warehouse. Fetch me some of those. I see. That's all? I'll see to the items. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done. Oops. Just ran someone over. Okay. Got the shipwreck. Somewhere over here. That's the shipwreck with the wine. Hope the pirates haven't gotten here yet. And... There's a customs warehouse. To where? That's the warehouse. The wild mushrooms will be in there somewhere. Okay. I have a bounty. Whoops. I also went sleepy time. Um, and they're still at it. Um... You know, what I meant to do was this. Right, we got uh, a couple of things then. Might as well get all that uh, done. I was going to say, there's fire off the coast there, and they're having a big fight. Um, get all this done then. And then. Uh, And then we can head off to Thera. Which will be a little interesting. Uh, Pirates have got here, it seems. The dog. Oh, there's a whole bunch of people in there. Okay, someone's just having a bath, apparently. Um, I kind of feel bad for just shooting him like that, but... <laughs> Do I want to shoot his dog? I mean, I could. Murdering them all in this bush. <laughs> so, uh, hi. Oops. Not that. <gasps> she should be nearby. Hey. There we go. <laughs> Too many triangle options there. Right. <laughs> well. 
I got everyone. <laughs> I'll uh, put you in the bush as well here, because... Um... <laughs> Uh, the one here, probably. And then forty. This is all the wine left. The looter stripped the shipwreck clean. Well, yeah, they probably drank it, wouldn't they? Yeah. Right. Well, um, that lot's done. Now to get the mushrooms. Which are presumably a little magical. And then once we do all this stuff, then we can head off to here, uh, find out what's going on there. I think it's high time we did that. It's the mine, isn't it? I'll come back to you in a minute. Uh, warehouse. Oh, bunch of peoples. Customs warehouse. Nope. Better get looking for those mushrooms. What does a pirate need with mushrooms? I heard they can be made into weapons or a poison. I can't remember. Shut up. Poison, huh? Maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> to be another one of those uh hmm. A it's called Heart of Stone. B Blokey there just mentioned that it could be used as a poison. And C, it's a witch of Hecate, and they're probably not that trustworthy, I guess. 
and I don't really fancy just getting a girl killed. So, uh, hello. Is there something you need? Uh, there might be actually. What do you have, by the way, of spears? Yeah, a trident. Uh, that's quite a good trident. Hop like javelin. Reinforced javelin. Not bad. It's like really. No. <laughs> Not gonna ride a flipping unicorn into battle. <laughs> um, I fancy something pointy. I would like to buy your finest spear. Uh, and I'd like to sell some stuffs. Um, that's a bog standard obsidian sword. Although, uh, it does have more damage there. Uh, might be easier. Uh, kind of a neat sword. I quite like that one. Yeah, in fact, actually, I was using both of those, wasn't I? So, um, get rid of that. Uh, can't sell that, apparently. Uh, grip, grip, that, uh, uh, yeah, you can get rid of that. Mercenary belt. Oops. Uh, right, hang on. Good to see you. Doing a bit of inventory management here. Because. Uh, that actually matches my outfit. Probably because it's part of the same thing, and it's a mercenary thingy. Um, sure, I'll take that. Uh, I think I will uh, equip you, and uh, dismantle you. Good. So if I if I did that, then what would that involve? Um, sorry, one sec. Uh, so I can do a poke, or I can do that. Oh, okay. Spear. Oh, that's good. Uh, good postulate. Um, right. Uh, so. What would you like? About some uh, upgrades and or other things. So I can upgrade some stuff. I can actually upgrade the fang bow. Good upgrade. Can't quite get it though. It's like the lower level stuff is the uh, the thing. Upgrade that. Uh, let's upgrade that. Upgrade on these. Uh, I can. These are not that low level though, so 
I think it might be better to not upgrade those. Um, if I'm only upgrading one level or something, then it's not really worth it. Uh, but upgrading that would be nice. Uh, you didn't actually have any of those, did you? There. Uh, right, engraves. Um, should get some sword stuff. Eh. Just get some straight up warrior damage with that. Sure. Um, anything else need anything? You probably need some S18 armor. And you probably need that as well if you can. Good to get that. Uh, and you can't get that. Might as well get the damage to animals boost. Right. Thanks for stopping by. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to go and uh, end up killing that girl. Because that's probably what's going to happen, isn't it? So let's head off. After a little break. Uh, let's head off to Thera. One of those Greek lions. Um... What do you want? This is a. I think these are impact quests. Need something, stranger? You, you sail up both the Adrestia with Varnavas. How do you know this, stranger? I once stood alongside him until a filthy pirate ran his blade through my back. Now I can barely stand straight. I was replaced by you. Oh. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear of your injury. I had no idea I was taking anyone's place. The worst part is, I always dreamt of sailing with my son. Uh, but with my back, I can't even collect enough wood to build a fair look for him. So you want me to give you some drachmi? Yes, any drachmi you can give helps. Sure. Uh, All right, here it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what those quests are. <laughs> There's been a couple of those that are just like, here, give me 50 Yurakami and haha, -ha, you get XP. Um, Right. Welcome back. Where shall we go? Well, uh, Dolphin, uh, let uh, us go to the south. To there, I guess. To that away. And avoid all that lot. Alright. To Thera we shall go. So, Thera, as I mentioned I think last time, um, is Santorini now. Um, was uh, a volcanic island until it blew up uh, around 2000, was it something like 1600 BC? 
Um, and it blew up and basically kind of was, you know, Krakatoa scale eruption, basically. So it it was a god almighty boom that basically destroyed everything around it. Um, probably brought down the Minoan civilization, I think. Um, significantly changed stuff around the Mediterranean anyway. So, uh, yeah, it was a pretty big explosion. Um, and that circular hole there and the island is probably uh, where it blew up. Crater left behind. But it's also, apparently, where I can either find some clues as to where my dad is or where he actually is. And I am quite curious to know even who he is, because I don't think we've had any kind of clue so far. Beyond that he is, like, enigmatic. <laughs> Cannot be described. Uh, this looks like a town. There we go. This place is nice. <laughs> oh wow! Nice. Ready the line. Ruin. So what's that line doing? What is that? Like a light beam? And there's mirrors and things here, aren't there? Look. What is that? Fira. Not what I expected. No. That is kind of cool. That'll do. Oh, this looks intriguing. Oh, look, triangles. That's uh, some kind of ancient thing, isn't it? Yeah, there's, uh, there's mirrors. Fascinating. And there's uh, definitely an entryway of some kind. There's the camp. That looks like an ancient entryway, doesn't it? There's a, a lynx over there, and another lynx, and another lynx. Ah. This is intriguing. I mean, I'm assuming Dad isn't actually some kind of still living ancient because that would be a bit wacko. Um, cool. These ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? Voice of the world. Yeah, I can't get in there. Ugh. Get a 
nice greeny from somewhere. Uh, this looks very Minoan. Uh, red pillars and stuff. That's a uh, reminiscent of the uh, the palace at Knossos in Crete, which I'm sure we are going to see at some point as well. there. Considering this is a few thousand years old, this wood is holding up pretty well. But that tablet. I wonder what it says. No. So the light beams are the key. While well, continuing my research on the Minoan ruins, haha, <laughs> Minoan, um, I have found writing that spoke of a doorway. After some translation, it appears that the reflective mirrors I found are part of a mechanism. I aligned the mirrors, and when I went back oh, into the ruins, back. I found a path that led deeper underground. At the very bottom of the cave, I found an entrance to somewhere else. Tomorrow I shall open the door and see what's inside. Ooh. So basically dad went down there into the into the thing. Alright, oh, what's this mechanisms then? Is that it? <sighs> okay, and then that bounces up there. And that bounces over here. And then that bounces over here. And that goes up there. Which then goes... Uh, uh, hang on. 
<laughs> Where are we going? Oh, yeah, it's some high ground, right. Icarus! Right, let's have a look. We got a beam that's, that just stops there. Okay. We go bouncing over there, down over here, over there, over there, over there, up there, over here. Uh, so it's probably something over here that's being blocked or something. Ah! Yes. Smash. Uh, yeah. We. It doesn't do an awful lot of damage, but... It, uh, it's a quick weapon, though. Alright, so... Oh. Ah! Snake. Oh, I gotta move all this stuff, right? Uh, I see. Smash. Right. So, if we can do this. Now, how do I... How am I going to do with that thing, though? I can't pick it up, it seems. Uh, well, where are you? Okay, so I need to move you out of the way. Okay. You're now moved sufficiently. Uh, there's another mirror. Seem like a great idea. Because now that's just bouncing that over here. So, how does that go over there? Maybe not then? Maybe that goes over there? Won't budge. Uh, uh wait. Move this forward. And that will intersect this. This looks to be in the right position. Uh which then goes over there. It's very convoluted. I think these mirrors have survived all these years. Yep. Oh boy. More wackiness. Um, right. Uh, uh. Interesting. Hang on. Is there a mirror down there? There is. So I gotta. 
Get that out of the way. Anyway, I'm going to. Oh God. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Get you back. One of these sliding puzzles, isn't it? Get you out of the way. Blocking this. Uh, can't move you. No, okay. Ah, uh, right. Maybe you told me there'd be puzzles. Um, I could move you. Something's in the way. That way. Can I move you back? No? Something's blocking this. back and forth it seems um okay then i move that out of the way over here and you are now doing what uh Sufficiently. Nope. There, that should work. Ah. Now to try the door. Right. Uh, somehow that did it, didn't it? And then that. Oh. That did it, I think. All right. What time? Find my dad's body here, probably. It's definitely uh, issue stuff going on here.
skeletons. So apparently, not survive the fall. That. The heck. <laughs> A lot of bones and stuff. Ooh. Why would my father be here? <laughs> and, and it's in one of the bodies. And apparently, he is interested in these things as well. Watch my step. Uh, where am I trying to go over there? Um, right. I feel a uh, quick save coming on there. <laughs> um, just in case. I mean, this is all very, uh, Frozen wilds, um, jumping over the lavas. <laughs> okay. Got over that. Another hole? Swallows another day. I didn't realize I'd be skidding down there, I thought I'd be falling down it. Um, well, you made it that far, and so did no, that's a rock through here. Excellent. Uh, okay. Guess I don't need that anymore. Uh, uh, <laughs> there is no dangle over the lava. <laughs> it's all on the unnerving side. Uh, oh. Got that. Ah. Somewhere else. You said you found another door. 
Nice of you to come all the way back up to the uh, top and leave a tablet for us, though. If that is my dad's and not somebody else's. What is Ooh. this place? Gateway to the Lost City? Oh, damn. Time to take a dive. Uh, yeah. Holy crap. It's like hovering things. There we go. Better picture. <laughs> Yeah, what? Not expecting that. Also, how the hell did that survive the flipping volcanic holocaust? <laughs> um, I guess it is time to take a dive. Geronimo! Uh, I was going to say, I hope there's water down there. shot well they were really big on triangles weren't they so what the hell is that thing whoops don't see that keeping chasm in the way This is huge. Yeah. This looks intriguing. What the hell is that? I mean, this is more like it for sure. It's all uh, very epic. That's like a portal? The hell is that? The hell are those? Stop a Hermes? Oh, that all ties in. Icaros. Oh. Traitor. <laughs> Greetings, Cassandra. Ooh. Welcome to Atlantis. Pythagoras! I'm Atlantis! Atlantis? Impossible. I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets Ooh. in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? Wait, are you my dad? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Sweet! Pythagoras. That doesn't make any Wait, sense. He yeah. died what? decades ago. Yes. Almost a century if memory serves. <laughs> and yet, here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. Uh. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. Uh. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> Woo! One of these is a correct answer. <laughs> I'm seeking my destiny. I'm here to meet my father, or Marini sent me.
Oh well, hell, I am here to meet my father. <laughs> Marini did send me. I am seeking my destiny. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go with that option. I've traveled a long way to meet my real father. You? You were not sent here for a family reunion. There are bigger things at stake. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to seal it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. <laughs> you haven't earned my help. Uh, no. <laughs> You're right. We must save the Greek world from itself. Above all things, trust yourself. You're capable of greatness. I'll do my best. The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. Huh. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back, but I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. Well, hi, Dad. <laughs> But, ooh, Pythagoras. <laughs> wow. Well, I didn't expect that. Or Atlantis. Now it's suddenly got into the, uh... Ooh. Non-historical. Um... Now we have some kind of really funky loading screen. Uh... Going back to the future again. Yep. Vera, we found Atlantis. Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. <laughs> You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality bending powers, and this bothers you? <laughs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Yes. I figured that out. <laughs> Mr. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. Okay. What was that that? <laughs> Oh, we're going to be back to the future now for a bit. Huh. Well. Definitely did not expect that. <laughs> uh, I mean, um, Jack, I think, did mention um, that Atlantis was going to be one of the DLCs, but uh, I didn't think it would be like part of the plot as well. Um, so cool. Uh, Jack being Jack Star. And one of my viewers. Thank you, Jack. I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. Oh, wow. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Amstava. Good luck, Lila. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. Uh, are we here? Okay. This is different. <laughs> there! 
That must be the way in. Cave. But did they seal it off? I guess we'll know. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Set the assassin sitting at the desk. <laughs> I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? <laughs> promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! Yeah, it's all this. Oh, volcanic smoker things. Oh, where am I going? Uh... A maze. Up here. Uh, this is looking interesting. Well, I'm somewhere. Light. Don't really have anything else. Oh, I can punch. Uh. Oh, is this the slidey thing? There. Down there. Oh heck! Ah! <laughs> that wasn't there. I'm gonna miss the London Loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Adira. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom! Impressive. All in a day's hack. Uh, well, oh, it seems to be a room. Oh, it's the room. Uh, well, I guess they didn't see it off. Wow, it's more elaborate than I could have imagined. That's kind of wacky, isn't it? Like, hang on. I was just here, but it was over 2,000 years ago. <laughs> and now, I'm here again. And it's still there. How did they build all this? But I wouldn't pay for an Isu toolbox. Uh, crabs apparently found the way down. So, <laughs> is Pythagoras still there? <laughs> I, I don't know what these things are. They're a little bit... <laughs> a little bit wacky. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, they didn't seal that off then, did they? Or did they? Where's that? There's a corridor down there. Symbols. Huh. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. I just had all that stuff right there. <laughs> it's real. I made it. Layla to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? 
Yes. By the gods, Layla. It's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. The hell is that thing? <laughs> Just stand underneath it, why not? Think, Layla, think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. Well, there's a thing I'm re right there. The animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. Uh, cool. <laughs> well. Huh. So, I mean, they were after the Staff of Hermes, which Pythagoras clearly had. Um, which is probably what's keeping him alive. Uh, yeah, conquest battles are kind of the least of my things now. So, uh... I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. Uh... Well, let's start at the top. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. <laughs> well, there we go. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. Hmm. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We are both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Hmm. Basically saying I'm just a tool. <laughs> Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed. And they'll never control me. Well, they seem to have got a good grip on uh, Alexios. That's all I wanted to know. So what about Atlantis then? I want to know more about Atlantis. And your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. Try me then. <laughs> you call it Atlantis. But what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the ancient ones stored information. Eh. Hey. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. Take as much. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. Uh -huh. I've heard enough. So what about these artifacts, and are they my weapons, and all the other ones as well? Because there was a... There's a spear, there's uh, Lemos's sword, and there's also an axe and a hammer. 
or something, maybe. At least that was in the forge. I don't know if that's the artifacts you're talking about, but. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. Okay. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Huh. You have more questions. Yes, hang on, I had one more set of things, didn't I? Uh, oh no, I didn't. Right. I should go. Yes, there is much right. to do. Sorry. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Right, even though it hasn't been discovered for a very long time already. <laughs> um, right, well, let's see here. So these are the the things. I I need to find the artifact that fits here. There's a round thing. That's a round thing. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. That's got a crab symbol on it. Right. That's got an eye. That's got a... Uh, uh, squirrel <laughs> or something? What the hell is that? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'll, I'll go with a squirrel with a human head <laughs> um, and a book. Right. Okay. Meanwhile, there are passages and this thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, hello? Can I do anything with you? Mm, apparently not. So, can I climb up that? Where did the uh, Pythagoras go? Just wandering around, apparently. Uh, right, well. Well, that looks like a good uh, photo opportunity. With the uh, beasties. you a little more in the middle. There we go. Get her lined up there. Not quite symmetric, but it'll do. I like that. Right. Sorry, Pops. Just uh, taking a selfie. <laughs> Well, any revelations here? So, what's over here? We got crystal things.
So I guess Icarus is pretty uh, old as well then, eh? Ooh, what's this? I shouldn't be surprised. My fellow precursors love being treated like gods. Why not create pets worthy of that reputation? Ugh. Alethea again, huh? Can I do this as well? So we all know the ancient Greeks wrote about what would later be called mythical beings. But in this reality, some of them are more than mythical. Okay. Who are you talking to there? It's like, it sounds like you're kind of lecturing on somebody. This recording was supposed to be about the spear of Leonidas. But you know what a spear is. Humans have been killing each other with them for over a hundred thousand years. Hmm. I believe Alethea was the... Like the issue AI or something, wasn't she? That's what we managed to glean. It took precursor ambition to make such simple concepts into artifacts powerful enough to threaten two entire civilizations. Bravo us! <laughs> Cynical as well, apparently. And the staff you call the staff of Edmistus Megistus. It's essentially a staff like any other. It's a support, a potential weapon, and a symbol of power. Uh. Cool. That's neat. I guess you got the end of the road. So is the other... Have we done this one? I'm afraid precursor interference is behind this. A corruption in biological programming. Technological artifacts merging with flesh to create monstrous hybrids. What? <laughs> monstrous hybrids? Are we, are we actually going to get some uh, proper mythological wackiness going on now? Medusas and Gorgons and all this sort of stuff, because if we do, that's going to be freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, that would kick it up a notch for sure. Hi, Pops. Um, also, Pythagoras. <laughs> like, excuse me, but the uh, maths nerd in me is nerding out. Um, what else has Alethea got to say? Precursors were proud of this monstrosity. They wanted it to be an indestructible repository of their knowledge. Ugh. And here you're supposed to listen and be impressed by the precursor monument around you. They wanted to make sure you remembered this island, no matter how often it was renamed Thera Calista Atlantis. Ugh. Supposed to be a reference point for simulating new universes, but how can they make a better future if they won't acknowledge their past mistakes? Ugh. Interesting. I'm guessing I uh, go around here in order. This one first, I guess. Too many of my people have tried to manipulate humans to their own ends. I'm sorry some of them have been so successful. At least one of the worst influences is gone in my present, anyway. Juno's power was immense. I never would have been able to transmit these recordings if she was still here. Hmm. Precursor sites have often included an educational mandate aimed at humans. 
I'm sure you already realize these generous revelations are strategic. Sure, yeah. Apparently I only get them once as well. Well... I have, uh... learned something there. So... Okay, the big floaty pyramid has also got those symbols on it, right? The bull and the crab and the man-headed squirrel. Um, so what's this artifact that you gave me here? Uh, not the viper fang. Um, papyrus thingy. Sphinx medallion fragment. Huh, okay. That's the artifact. Is that what a human headed squirrel is? <laughs> That's supposed to be a sphinx. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's look at this from another angle. Um. I mean, it could be. It's a very weird way to draw it, but it could be. <laughs> I mean, a human-headed squirrel would kind of be a kind of sphinx, wouldn't it? <laughs> we got a crab thing. I need to find the artifact that fits here. So you got nothing else to say to me, I presume? Silence is preferable to empty words. Um. You have more questions? No, okay. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring right, I know, you've told me twice already. Right, uh, so I don't suppose there's a quicker way out of here, is there? <laughs> um, is there any other way out of here? Oh, there's something. Well, okay. And suddenly you just got a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah. I should actually go and uh, you know hunt down the cult and do all that stuff as well, but um should also uh probably uh where are we? There. Where do we go? Let's see if I can just take another shot. Maybe with her slightly better illuminated. Well, I have multiple choice for thumbnails here anyway. So, I was going to say, I don't suppose you're some kind of teleport pad, are you? Ah, <laughs> you are. Uh, well. Gateway to the Lost City. Oh, I can actually fast travel there. Um, right, I think, uh, the, did you say Vitia? Uh, was where that was. So, quest. Uh, home is where the mother is. Gates of Atlantis. One artifact in Beotia. Or Beotia. One in Kithra. One in Lesbos. One in Messara. Um, well. The last riddle. Law of the Sphinx. Gorgias is in Biotia in the southern part of Lake Capace in Strange Ruins. Um, well, damn. Um, huh. <laughs> 
mother seems to be somewhat less important right now <laughs> since this just got massively suddenly lost cities of Atlantis and all this ancient stuff uh, I mean they don't need that it's positively mundane now <laughs> uh, oh minor tour de force what ah uh, I don't even want to look at that yet um, because spoilers in the quest descriptions um, damn what do I want to do? I mean, we've got to kill the cult as well. Uh, and also, some cultist stuff going on. We've got some new things. Um, yeah, we killed him. Um, who's this though? Fighting in this arena in the arena will draw out the cultist. Okay. Sure. Uh Kira lost the panicked. <laughs> That doesn't seem like a terribly threatening name. Um, okay, well. I guess we'll um, head back to the address here. I don't know now, like, do I go do this or do I go and. Uh, sort out Mother and Sparta and all that. Um, yeah, so, guys, you won't believe the shit that just happened. I kind of think I should go back to Sparta and uh, reconfer with Mother. I mean, maybe she'll have something to say about all this. Um, also, I mean, Cold Era of Fate. Um, like, what's all the other stuff? around here and I kind of want to explore uh, the island a bit as well okay sleep time let's go do it in daylight yeah let's explore the island if we can I like that it's got this uh, interesting view, like uh, it's sort of smoggy. So is there anywhere else? Oh, cats! Uh, 
uh, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Uh oh. Oh, get off, get off, get off. effective weapon. Ah, but I can screw you just as good. Okay. Just wanna see what else is here. So that's the uh, the place. Something there. Um. I mean, is there anything else here? Is that the entire island? Cities under here. Do a bit. Oh, what's that? Ah, all right, Galcom. Yeah, is that another one? No, I thought it's another door. Yeah, I, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm kind of doing this as well, just to have a bit more thinking time. But I'm kind of thinking I should go do Sparta next. Comparatively small in scale now, though that is. But going back and seeing Mater, and telling her about Pater, might be a good idea. Ooh. Uh, a chicken egg. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Like that uh, volcanic landscape there. And there's the ruins. Nice. So, yeah, I guess Thero is just volcanic wasteland. Apart from the ruins there.
poses a little bit. Uh. A little bit boring there. There you go, that's a little bit more, a little bit more uh, epic looking. Get a good overview of the city. Yeah, that's all that survived. Oh, there's something over there, though. What is that? Yeah, there's something over here. This makes that um, little uh, foundry of Ephestos or whatever it is just off uh, one of the coasts. Is it, is it off uh, Evia? That little volcano <laughs> makes it uh, look a little uh, piddly. Look what that building over here is though. So, I can get some lots of iron around here. Tons of iron. <laughs> Just upgrade Tetral here. Anything else visible? There's uh, that little ruin. If it actually was uninhabited at the time, I mean, it's fairly populated now, I believe. Them at least. It was worth the uh, the trapes. There we go, little vantage point. Well, I guess this place doesn't actually have a a sink point, does it? No, not by the looks of it. It's like that's all there is here. Ash Hills. Angry Caldera of Argus. That's Asanafi. That's Nisiros. Um, yeah, where was that other volcano? This guy. Um, yeah, the foundry of Ephestos off oh off our Argolis, right. Um what Athens is like nowadays. Uh, haven't been back there, haven't been back to um 
Uh, haven't been back to Catalonia either for that matter. Uh, wonder what what's going on over there. Uh, there is this thing as well. That's where that other ancient chamber thing was, so that's something to do with it probably. Um, so where'd they say they were? They were like, there was Lesbos or Lemnos, one of these two anyway had one. On the L Island. Uh, Kithera also did. Um, I mean that was a high level though. Uh, also, uh, as close as we've been to Crete. It looks possibly tiny here. It's a lot bigger. Um, wow. <sighs> well, what do we do? So the choices are we head up to Viotia and find this Sphinx Fragment thing. Uh, or we go to uh, here. So we can do that. Cool. Um, probably. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to you know, sit on it for a bit. I think. Um, I'll probably uh, end the stream earlier here because I am actually quite tired. I've had a bit of a rough day. Um, but it's a good place to to stop it, I think. I can swim back to the ship. <laughs> Looked a lot closer from up there. <laughs> Maybe we try. Interesting to look at. Your ruins. Goes down quite deep. Blissfully oblivious. Pop up that breather here. Um, sure, let's go have a have a peek over here. Trees. Probably nothing here, but it's 
So that over there is Crete, that, that distant land. I don't think you want to go there. Is uh, his dad's eagle, huh? <laughs> kind of cool. There we go. Oops, more Oricalcum, nice. There's another volcanic outcrop over there. Like the seagulls. <laughs> huh. So those little white dots were. I imagine that should be considered uh, a little suspicious that a, uh, a ship is just parked at this ruins. No apparent reason. So, over there is the, or well, beyond there is the other islands, the other volcanic ones. I want to do a swan dive off that cliff. Take a screenshot mid dive. Could be kind of cool. Okay. Geronimo! Oh! I think it did. Haven't quite gone vertical yet, but uh. Like, trying to get a, a view of the cliff as well. They plummet into the water. Let's see if I can take one further down. It's a bit more vertical. What's the cliffs in the way? I can't really get a good angle on that. Uh, although, that <laughs> sploosh. Nah. Good thing I wasn't dashed to bits there. <laughs>
was a good dive. Sure, I can use that for a, a pun later on. All right, let's get back to the ship, and then I think I'll call it there. And I can figure out what I want to do over the weekend. But I think I want to go back to Sparta first, but I am also curious about this uh, Sphinx thing, so... Guys! Guys, 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 you won't believe this! There was like a big floaty pyramid thing, and... And, and and Pythagoras and and stuff uh, you're gonna talk about unknown unknowns here yeah, you are um, I'm kind of disappointed that you can't just you know have a chat with Herodotus um, seems a little disappointing um, store store those uh, yeah do I got the uh, wolf's helm I do I kind of want to keep that on me um, or the war hero one because it looks good but at least I've kept them I thought I'd, uh, I'd actually destroyed them but apparently not I wonder if I can uh, increase the storage I have. Oh, I must be able to. This is 21 out of 350 there. Um, yeah, surely. Uh, right. Well, yeah, I'll leave it there. Save here. Um, yeah, leave it there and uh, continue on Monday, and then I'll hopefully have figured out what I want to do. Um, so yeah, cool. Lots of uh, lots of big stuff happening in this episode. Um, it's always fun to have all the uh, ancient civilization stuff. And uh, as I said, it's suddenly gone very, um, very mythical now, rather than historical. Uh, so, cool. Right, well, I'll leave it there. Um, get that all uploaded and so on, be on the usual places, YouTube and uh, Twitch. If you're watching on, uh, on, Twi on uh, YouTube, then hi, and thanks for watching. Um, and getting to this point um do click the like subscribes you know pass on any comments you want etc always good um and uh yeah uh we'll leave it there so um thank you for watching uh, i will see you next time ta-ta